Fundamentals of Case Management Practice, Skills for the Human Services, 5th edition. Chapter 7, Identifying Good and Poor Responses. Uh, 12 roadblocks to communication, ordering, directing, communicating, warning, uh, admonishing, threatening, uh, exhorting, exhorting, moralizing, preaching, Advising, giving solutions, lecturing, teaching, logical arguments, uh, judging, criticizing, disagreeing, blaming, praising, agreeing, name-calling, ridiculing, shaming, uh, interpreting, analyzing, diagnosing, uh, reassuring, sympathizing, counseling, supporting, probing, questioning, interrogating, withdrawing, distracting, Humoring, uh, and finally the last thing says during. So using the phrase, I understand. I understand often sounds superficial and trite. I understand how you feel. Most of us can never know exactly how a client feels. I understand how you feel, but the but tends to negate the client's very uh, real feelings and push the worker's perspective instead. Avoid using the phrase, I understand. Useful responses. Responding to other people in friendships and other familiar relationships is not the same as responding professionally to clients. You are responsible for creating an environment in which the client feels safe enough to open up. You are in charge of creating an environment that builds rapport and collaboration in regard to the client's problem. Responding to feelings, uh, responding to content, responding to feelings. Identify the feeling and say that back to the other person. Do so when it says single sentence. Do not confuse the person with more than one feeling or by adding more. Example, you must be feel sad about this. You must have been very proud of her. Um, those are just a few examples. Responding to content. A response to indicate that you heard exactly um, accurately what the client has said. Confirms for the client that you that the details of his or her story are important to you. Examples. So you stood waiting for about two hours and no one ever came when you were ready you wanted to leave but he blocked your path open and close questions um, these are used to get fact close questions these are used to get facts and information they require a single answer they are not used often in discussion that involve problems and feelings example what is your address how many children are in your family open questions there are used to uh, solicit more information. They allow clients to bring out their details uh, that are important to them. Can you tell me a little bit more about your mother or tell me about that night? Showing appreciation for what has been said. Appreciate it when clients bring up their concerns. This makes it safe to discuss issues the client may have um, with you or your agency. Example, I really appreciate you telling me about this. It is helpful to know. Thanks for bringing this up. I appreciate you bringing this issue to my attention. Disarming anger. A question to begin disarming. These questions show a genuine interest in what the client said. Do not ask too many questions. One or two are enough. Example, can you tell me how I offended you? Um, and did this happen often? Ways to argue when disarming. A ways to agree with disarming. Look for a kernel of truth in what the person has said. Refrain from um, sounding defensive. Examples, I think we probably don't know how this inconveniences you. It is very possible we overlook this. Collaboration. In order to move toward change, there needs to be collaboration. Even when clients will, not, will do most of the work, uh, the word we can create more of a team approach. Clients can trust your intention to be supportive without taking over. Start tentatively. I'm wondering if... Blah, 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 blah. Um, ending with an initiative, initiation to collaborate. Invitation. Invitation to... Sorry. Uh, anyway, maybe we can work on this together. Examples of collaboration. I'm thinking that perhaps we can look at the different clinics in your area and see if there is anywhere you could get the treatment. What do you think? I'm wondering what you would do, think of this. We could go over um, to the courthouse and get a copy of the records and begin to piece it together from there. What are your thoughts? Always
always ask the other person for their feedback on your sessions. What do you think? What are your thoughts about this? How do you see this? False praise versus positive feedback. Praise does not give the client information the client can use. Feedback contains information about the client the client can rely on for in future problems. Feedback generally identifies traits that might be used to the client in the future. Examples of praise, you did a great job with that. You should feel proud of what you accomplished. Examples of feedback, when you spoke to the person in admissions, you had all the information all the information in, on the courses you wanted to take. Um, you were well prepared and organized. Two minor problems. Uh, there are two minor problems that can occur when communicating with others. You assess your client's feelings incorrectly. Here the client may correct you, giving you more accurate information. She tells you she did not feel angry, but rather she was disappointed. This is helpful to know. Your mind wanders. Your mind or on occasion will wander away from the conversation. Practicing good body language, showing interest in what the client is saying, will prevent these monetary shifts in focus from becoming real problems. Three major problems. There are three major problems that can occur when communicating with others. Uh, one, you cannot wait to pass judgment. Rather than listening, the worker is judging what the client is saying and what the client has done. These workers are preoccupied um, with what they want to say and can't wait to pass along an authoritative judgment. You ignore the client's feelings. The client expressed emotion, but the worker does not notice and focus instead on the facts and the solution. Uh, you cannot wait for her to offer a solution. The worker rushes to a solution without establishing rapport and letting the client know that the underlying feelings were hurt. So that's it. Thanks for, you know, listening.